everyone. I am here with an oldie but goodie. <laughs> I can say that. Old being the key word there. Because <laughs> I'm old too. <laughs> uh, most of you do know G. Um, some of you do not. Anybody who's taken our retreat or has been with Martelli for a long time knows G. But I wanted to give G just a few minutes before we get started into the nitty gritty of it to explain to her, uh, explain to you guys what she does um and well she does a little bit of everything but um about her her sisters and and what she does because there's a lot of new people that haven't had a chance to see her and we're going to go over that a little bit later where you can watch a little bit more um maybe tonight before she starts her her um, class tomorrow so you can kind of get a feel of how she teaches and so the pace she's at and stuff like that so i'll go ahead and let you talk about yourself for a minute well um i am one part of Woo Make creations that's me and my twin sister who uh design and sew and develop things for martelli um so we just are constantly thinking of ways to do things better and easier and of course with the templates you know everything make it makes everything better and so that was my goal here for the uh ncw necessary clutch wallet to make things easier and faster and you know that way you can have lots of gift giving in a short period of time or you, if you're going to sell them or what have you these are very addicting and um, i know that you won't just make one which is why valerie was so nice to make the kits be for two uh, wallets that way you can get the hang of it good and then the second one the second one's going to be you know better than your first and it'll take you less time but i've cut out a lot of the time consuming stuff by using these templates so we have uh, uh anybody around here who knows me i'm a get it done like i i don't i'm, I'm going 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 i'm always going 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 she's me tenfold like <laughs> i don't think she actually sleeps i at least sleep but she her brain never stops so we talk almost daily and it'll be like you know, I cut this out, or I did this. Or I figured out a different way to do that, or this is quicker, or that is fast. So you went from the first wallet you took. How long did it take you to make it? I think my first one was five and a half hours, um, about five and a half hours. And I'm a fast sewer, but um, and then I've got them down to two hours or less now. Uh, so it's something so, that with time. But and I have. I have my templates now. I cut multiples at a time. I have parts and pieces everywhere. So I have extra, when I cut, I cut extra. And so I have lots of ovals and lots, lots of parts and pieces everywhere so I can just grab and start creating. Yeah, and we yeah. are missing Sherry. So Sherry, if you're out there watching, and she's probably not because she's probably sleeping. Everybody right knows now she's sleeping. Sherry, she's a NICU nurse. Was she's retired, but that's a joke because she's really not retired. <laughs> she's actually working for um, two twins, so she's taking care of them. And yes. she actually saved one the other night that was choking. So yes. that family is very lucky to have her. So as much as we wish she could have come, I think that was she wouldn't have it been was, home. It, yeah. it was meant to be it was because meant to be. if she hadn't been there, you don't. You she don't won't know. miss the next one. But this. <laughs> time <laughs> I mean I'm having to drive and that's not cool and um, but the only good thing about her not being here is it's not freezing in my hotel room other than that I wish she were here I texted her and I said we missed you and she said I'm so proud of G driving by herself doing all by herself she said but I wish I was there yeah so we do definitely do um, miss her but today what we're going to do is I'm going to pretty much hand it over to G because I want the first half of this we're going to talk about the wallet the templates there was a kit that we offered the kit sold out fairly quickly so that when we do these kits please I've said it a million times I'm not a salesperson but when we do these kits you've got to buy these kits because I bring so much in and I don't know whether it's going to sell out or whether I'm not going to sell enough. I order what I order. And then for me to put in a second order for everything would have taken it an extra week. It doesn't have time to come it, in and For me to get it to you. And so when I do kits, I mean, we're still going to sell the template so you can still do everything we're doing. You just have to supply your own hardware exactly and the hardware she's the, gonna, all the paraphernalia but we'll we'll go over and we'll she's made it, it very easy for you because she's done all the finding for you so if you've bought this don't fret she's given you all the links she's going to get all that and go over that so just yes. keep in mind that when we do have the kits because i know a lot of you have called and you know wanted to upgrade your templates to that but we are out um but without without any further ado i want to just give it to her for about 15 or 20 minutes to do nothing but talk about where we go from here tomorrow so um, 
we're approaching this in a whole different way than the original pattern, that, the way it's written. Uh, we do want to give um, props to the uh, pattern maker Janelle from Emmeline Bags or Emmeline Bags, however you want to uh, say that. And um, she has developed the most popular pattern on the internet. It's been around since, I think, 2013, Linda? 2013. 2013, which Linda bought it what, when it was hot off the press. Yep. And um, never used it. And never used it. And so now Linda is in the process of making, making one uh, because we've just made it uh, so much easier with the templates. In your pattern, there's pattern pieces that you cut out, you, you tape together and cut out and stuff. But we have made it much easier to um, cut with these templates. So um, let me just get... Uh, so, so what I want to do is explain to everyone uh, what the pieces are, so that way you can choose your fabrics accordingly. Um, in your kit, you got five fat quarters, and um, that that will make two, actually two wallets, and the the interfacing for the both of the wallets also. But um, I think I think it's a little confusing of what actually makes what. So you're seeing this big oval, and you're thinking, what exactly is that? So as you see, I have marked my templates with some uh, labels, and those are my interfacing labels. And Linda so kindly um, actually printed up, uh, she'll have a, a paper that you can print that you can have all of this written out. See these, these labels right here? She's got them on a piece of paper where you can just cut and, and, and um, tape them to your templates. And I'm going to post a bunch of things afterwards. I still need to confer with G to make sure I have everything correct. But I'll be posting pictures for you to print out and use as a guide. So there's a to-do list for you to do this afternoon or before tomorrow or before you start your wallet. But there are several things that I'll post on this page as pictures. Yes. And so these will make it really nice for you to just grab your template and know what you're cutting with that. Um, uh, so a, a, all of the things, if it's an exterior, it's going to be a little bit uh, beefier. Uh, it's going to be more stabilized at, on your, with your interfacing on your exterior pieces. So the exterior oval, so the exterior oval, what the exterior oval is, is this part of your wallet. Okay. Well, I don't know what's on there, uh, but this is your exterior part of your wallet. This is the interior flap. This is the exterior flap. And your interior oval is this piece right here that doesn't get seen too much except for behind the card slot area uh, and on the sides. But you, you really do, don't see the inside oval, interior oval that much. So when you're choosing your fabrics, I want you to choose something that you're not going to be upset if you don't see very much of it, right? So um, mo mainly this is your focal fabric um, and that's how you want to arrange your fabrics so that way if you have a focal fabric or if you have to, we actually have a fussy cut window in, in the kit also so you can literally cut out certain characters, Disney characters, whatever to be your focal fabric on the outside of this. And then it's fun to have um, something different on the inside. You can do them all with the same fabric if you want. Uh, you know, it's totally up to you how you want to design your wallet. Uh, we are going to be doing an all fabric wallet, uh, all cotton fabric wallet. Uh, we will be talking in the class about doing vinyls and fake leather faux leather and um, cork even. I did get some cork today here in Pensacola and so I am going to be trying different things with the cork as well. I won't be able to advise you on the cork because I haven't personally used the cork before but I will. Um, maybe even today if we get around to it but oh my nails are really 
Boy, Beautiful. You know. <laughs> it, it. Anybody who's looking Woo. at this going, where does she get her nails done? I'm just going to tell you. She does them herself, and aren't they beautiful? This was a 1 a.m. Uh, finishing job. Look at that, <laughs> and look at these. Which would you rather look at? And I've said, I'm always trying to hide my hands. I have psoriasis. See there? I'm always trying to hide my hands, but hers are beautiful. <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys! I was I was in wallet uh, mania before I left, and so I had no time to do my nails. So. I did one hand before bowling, and when I got done with bowling, I literally, you know, I had to pack still, you know, because who packs ahead of time? <laughs> Not me. So I had to pack, I had to do laundry, and I had to get my nails done before I came to Pensacola. Not only so, are they loving your nails, but they're loving your hair, too. Oh, yeah. and I didn't even get to look what it looked like before we went I on think, air. I think her and Jessica should have been uh, yeah, We were sisters. twins today, I think. <laughs> um, she was channeling my, my twin. Uh, well, thank you for letting me see what my hair looked like. Like, we didn't, we were busy doing wallets, but when it was time to come and, and film. You know what I like about G, what I love about G is I'm not a perfectionist by any means, and I don't know that G's a perfectionist, but she wants to have the knowledge of a perfectionist. She's okay, like when you guys are working with her, she's okay. If it's does not done right the first time, it's okay. Mistakes happen, but boy, she will try and try until there are no mistakes. She yeah. doesn't give up on it, and it, it will be perfection by the time it's done, but she doesn't demand it up front. Like, yeah, it's, no, a, it's a process. It's a process. Yeah. And, um, and these wallets were definitely a process for me. Um, my goal, I just wanted to let you know what my goal was with this pattern, because like I said, it is the most popular pattern on the internet. Um, my goal was to uh, devise it uh, design it with uh, interfacing that you can purchase easily and um, so I went through the process of all kinds of different interfacings one layer two layers ten layer you know like I really so my show-and-tell wallets there's every everything you can imagine every mistake um, when, when we get into making, I will let you know that, um, most of the time I forget to open my zipper, but, um, you know, these, it's real life sewing. It's, it's stuff that happens and I will be teaching you how to, uh, remedy that when you, when you make an error. But now, I wanted to talk a little bit about, I know we weren't uh, prepared to talk about this, but I really do want to talk about Miss Linda Olson who started all this madness with our yes. beautiful wallets. Oh my gosh. I love mine. <laughs> and I was just saying, I was at Disney World and I lost my wallet three times in bathrooms. And I thought, dang it, I should have brought, Miss Olson made me the most beautiful police one. I did not bring it. I'm thinking, why did I not? I don't even know what I was thinking. But anyways, uh, we were talking about yeah, that. Yeah, so it can be a cross body. It's not just a wallet. We, we've made them into cross body bags. And we're going to be teaching how to do that. They're very lightweight to keep on you. So you can use it as a wallet or a crossbody. We'll teach you how to do that. And um, this way you're not, and, and if you do carry a purse and you want to carry it as a wallet, I literally just throw this whole thing, handles and all, even though they unhook, um, handles and all, I just throw it in my bigger purse and it's as a wallet that day. But if I'm going to be getting in and out of the car and everything, put my key fob in here, my phone, and I'm, you know, this has, well, I won't open mine. Mine's kind of messy in there. But it has 12 card slots in here. Um, the stitching is in black, so you can't really see. But there's uh, divisions here for your cards. Show the one you card. made yesterday. Oh, with the white, okay. The yes. The white thread on the black. Then they'll be able to see okay. it. Okay. All right. Um, right here. Look at this. I was going to talk about this in a minute, but I'll talk about it right now. Um, how how pretty her cute are. is this? Oh, that's, my gosh. That's Lisa's stitching. So, uh, <laughs> well, no, Lisa's stitching is on the card slots, though. Oh, oh that's um, right, yes. Sorry. The, so the card slots in this one are not made from waterproof canvas. They are made from the fabric. So in our new fabric kits, we um, are not including the... Uh, waterproof canvas it's gonna be a set look at this set of fabric okay, I don't have that many of these left so let me say this again <laughs> I only have a select amount so I think I have 23, 23 left but how cute would this be to go to a Christmas party and have matching wallets with your 
children or your mom, like me. Like the we whole have, family can we have take five their generation. So how cool would that be for my grandmother, my mom, myself, my daughter, and my granddaughter to have matching ones for Christmas? I mean, it's just so cute. And, and with the fussy cut window, each person can have a little bit di different, different feature fabric. Mm -hmm. um, so cute. And all these coordinating fabrics to go along with it. Let's see if I can, yeah, you can see it, good. Um, all these different fabrics, so there's six, right? There's six of these uh, accent two fabrics. Yard, a two, yard two yards of, of this focal. awesome um, gnome one. Mm -hmm. Let's see. And, and I think there are 10 yards. kits at the end. I think there'll be 10 kits that have a slightly different green pattern because we ran out of that particular fabric, but it matches beautifully, but it's just a little bit different green. Yes. But I just, for you guys that are watching today, just know, and that should make, I think, was it eight wallets we discussed with? With Linda? Yeah. With, I mean, Lisa. Lisa. with Lisa. I think yes. it was, uh, we figured out to eight, you could do eight wallets. So this is a two yard You'll cut, and these on. are all one yard cuts, correct? Yes. And yes. now um, you're getting a yard of the Pellon of 809. 809 and, and, and 101. 101. Yep. Now that's not going to do eight. We right. just gave you a yard just to, to get, get you started. Until you get the rest, correct? Right. And, and two blades in there as well. Yes. Oh, nice. So yeah, the 809, it, 809 is a stiffer interfacing, it is fusible. And um, so is the 101 fusible. Um, it's, it's thinner, and so there's certain parts of the wallet that need more structure than others. And I've learned how to just use these two interfacings to make the whole wallet except for the inner piece of the flap, which is called Decoville, which is not as um, easy to get. Uh, you can't just run to your local Joann's. Most of the time they don't stock the Decaville, but you can get it online. So my goal was to make this affordable. Um, I, I want to discuss this template here. Um, this is a multi template. And um, as you can see, it's an eight inch. Everything uh, is based on the eight inch. But literally this this one template will cut all your zipper pockets, your a lot of your interfacing and stuff because you can do eight by eight and a half, eight by eight, eight by seven and a half, eight by seven, eight by six, and eight by four. Uh, depending on where you put this on the, the um, straight edge of your fabric, then it, it'll make an eight by four, it'll make an eight by six. So uh, I think this is genius and it's, it's a multi template that is. I didn't want, I wanted these templates to be affordable for everyone. Yeah, because we do the oval, it takes a lot of plastic. And so when G and I work together, we always think of... How can we make it more like affordable? Like the oval, we were talking about cutting it in half on the fold, but you couldn't. There was a reason. I don't remember why G's like, we just can't. No. So I, some things you can't do and some things that Right. You some things are feasible and some, some are not. So, um, so the multi-template is uh, a genius piece and it makes you be able to buy one thing instead of us making too many templates that you wouldn't be able to afford or I'm, I'm not saying you can't afford it. I'm just saying it makes it more affordable for people. And, and that know, was my goal. You're paying a lot for the templates, but when you, and I think I told you guys a story. I want to tell it real, real quick. I was in Massachusetts and um, my brother and I are from there. So when we used to do the Massachusetts show, you know, we would, go back and forth and take turns and go up there. And this one lady came on and she's like, running down the hall, she's like, who is that guy? Where is he that sold me this table? And she was like really angry. And she's like, where is he? And I'm like, oh my <laughs> Lord. And I was like, well, who are you looking for? He said he was the owner's son. And I was like, uh, David. Yeah, where is he? Where is that little SOB? And I'm like, oh, oh my gosh. I'm like, oh, I'm stressed and I panic and I'm sweat. And she goes, he made me buy a table last year and I want to know where he's at. And I said, well, he's at, is there something I can do? She goes, yeah, you tell him that's the best blood money I ever spent. She oh. said, I <laughs> lost my job and I didn't have money for that table. And he told me that if I bought this table, I was making stuff for a fair, that I could make things 10 times faster and I'd make more money. And he was right. And <laughs> I spent every last penny I have and he made me so much money and I wanted to say thank you. <laughs> so the things are, but when you can, especially if you're doing these to sell or to give away, your time's valuable. Absolutely. And, and so it the makes more it you can so make. much faster. I'm going to show you guys with three of these templates how to cut all your interfacings for two wallets at the same time. Um, I think it's genius. And it's fast. And um, that's, that's one of the things I'm most proud of 
about so we do my try to save new money. We do when yeah. we try to make those templates as compact as possible. Right, we, we're really trying to make it more and more. Affordable and sure. when when designing this flat piece, um, this uh, flat piece. Yeah, you can bring it up oh, right here, oh, okay, sorry. No, uh, this good. flat piece here um, is just like it is in the written pattern, and so is the oval. But now it's already cut for you. You don't have to actually tape pieces together and stuff. And um, Janelle was very gracious as to give us our blessing in making these beautiful templates that make your cutting life so much better. And if you're if you're doing fairs and uh, you know little bazaars that you're selling stuff at. You can make them, you know, four times as fast because you're not, because uh, you're cutting lots of layers at the same time. So. And I wanted to, that brings me back to the point that I was trying to make a little ago, Linda Olson. There is a website for this and it's huge, isn't it? Oh, the necessary yes. NCW Addicts on Facebook has over 18,000 members. This is just for this wallet. Like it, it's a Facebook page just for this wallet. So. Um, shout out to all you NCW people that I'm on there with that um, you can't just make one of these. It, they're very addicting. People on there make two, three hundred of these. Um, now so, she put, now I believe Miss Linda put a post on there about this, so I'm hoping to get a lot of people to watch it. Um, so if you guys can go join that group, let's help them out and you know give Linda some support on there and just say, hey, you really enjoy this class, so that people, I mean, our goal is to get as many people to watch. One, so that we can sell the templates, of course, but two, to make that easier. To make it easier for everyone. I'm so oh excited for, I mean, even people like Linda Olson, who has made 200 of these wallets. She started this craze by, by gifting us these wallets, and then I was just uh, blown away by it, so I had to make them, and then... Of course, you know, I like to try to make everything more efficient and easier and yeah, stuff. Yeah, and then she so. made all these walls. She said, I brought some for you guys to pick from. And so I was like, oh, well, that's just wonderful. And then I saw the fabric that she had written. She goes, well, you can't have that one. I was like, I love that. But she goes, no, that's the one Linda made for me. I was like, dang it. Because that fabric is so pretty and yeah. so bright. And we're going to take it to Houston. So I yeah, she wouldn't give me hers. No, just I'll saying. make her a new one. <laughs> but... Um, so, but back to these templates, this is your flap template, template um, and I've made it very easy by marking, if you can read interior flap, that means you're cutting for the interior flap. If you can read exterior flap, that means you're cutting for the exterior flap. So, um, I mean, how genius this, is that, really? Because you know how complicated it is to remember which way yes. the template's supposed to go. So. Well, because of my mistakes, uh, this is why this was made this way because and if I anybody made, knows G, she has the odd belly system. She always, yeah. she, girl, that girl comes up with stuff to remember things. Yeah, I mean, I want to make things easier and, you know, when I'm teaching, I say little things to make you remember so you don't have to um, worry about forgetting things because, oh, G said this or something funny or something. It just makes sense to She's correlate. got a t-shirt with all the sayings on it just in case yeah. you don't want one. Yeah, you'll learn a whole different language um, if you're new to us. You'll learn a whole different language of things. But um, so I just took it a, uh, a little <clears throat> step further than just the exterior interior and, and I put what my interfacings are so I don't have to um, constantly look and see what I'm supposed to interface with what. Um, and the, the interfacings that I'm using so if I understand that correctly, so if you're doing an interior flap, you would never use 809. It's always the 101 because there's no one, there's no eight. If you can go back right. to the onesie. So there for so for the interior flap, you're using 101 twice. So 101 against the fabric, and then another 101. If you're doing the exterior flap, you're gonna do 101, 809, and 101 as a sandwich. And we're, I'll show you how to do that all in one fell swoop. Um, I do want to say that these, uh, you're, in your kit, you're going to wonder what this template is for, the nine by five and a half. This is to, you cut your flat pieces first out of this and interface it because it's much easier to interface a rectangle than it is this. 
uh, flat piece. So we first do this template, and it's not much waste. As you see, I am not about wasting stuff. Uh, you know, it doesn't have too much waste. But when you do it with this uh, nine by five and a half first, you can also use your fussy cut template onto that piece uh, and when you're cutting this flap. Go off. back to the flap uh -huh. and then go to one of the wallets and show. Okay. What I love about what she's done is from one template, we have the exterior and we have the interior, and you're not going to mess up and cut your fabric to the go in the way. wrong direction. Yes. So, so that's huge. Yes. So if, yeah, which is why I did that template the way I did it, because if you're not using a directional fabric or if you're not using a... Um, feature fabric, it doesn't matter because they'll just fit together. But if you want your fabric, if you don't want your gnome upside down, then you need to cut it correctly. So this is your exterior flap, which has a little bit more uh, interfacing. It has the 809 as well as the 101. Uh, it's a 101, 809, 101 sandwich. Uh, it gives a little bit more structure. Look how cute that is. Even Look at it, the inside flap, the interior flap. I mean, so those were all fussy cut. So just, it's so much fun. And if you've ever seen the NCWs, you will have never seen this before. That's a little touch of mine that I created for these to make it a little extra special. You know, I have to be extra. <laughs> From my nails to everything, I'm extra. She even so. blings out with Swarovski crystals, Swar her machines. Yes. It's crazy. She's going to yeah. be blinging ours out a little bit. Is yeah. It, I space? totally <laughs> forgot. You know, guys, when I sew here, I love it because I have the M7. You know, I'm obsessed with that machine, and she has one here for me to sew on. However, at home, I put two Swarovski crystals on my reverse button. So when I'm flying, because I do so fast, um, I do not have to look for the button. I just reach and feel because I've got two crystals on there. So, um, yeah, I forgot them for here. So I'm hoping not to hit the wrong button because I'm a little bit spoiled. Well, I probably have some downstairs. Yeah, we have some. I know. They yeah, probably we'll, we'll won't be it. like mine, but I didn't bring mine. So we'll, <laughs> we'll have to do it just we'll so I won't have on. to look. She bought a press because she's so addicted to these bags. There are things that she's going to talk about. I don't know if you want to talk about it now, but um, there are presses and she spent $200 on this press. But if you're going to make a lot of wallets, it's going to be worth investing in that. Yeah. So she's going to be giving you links and stuff to those machines as well. But she blinged her press Yes. Out. My, uh, so I, I got the cam snap press and... Um, I couldn't take that industrial green look to it. I really couldn't even function with looking at it like that. So I blinged it out right away. And uh, the owner of Cam Snap, she, she really loved what I did to it. And, and, and I did give her permission to put it on any of her marketing stuff that she wanted to. Uh, but yeah, it just makes, makes, it makes happy. me happy. You know, you have to do what brings you joy. And literally right now, I'm so obsessed with these wallets. These, what, this is what is bringing me joy lately. I know, and she called me and after Linda Olson had gotten it. Well, she got hers well before we got ours because Lisa had, matter of fact, had just had the stroke. She was not doing real well. Linda was sick. She had, uh, it wasn't COVID, but might as well no. have been. She was on her deathbed. And so... <laughs> They didn't even come in for two weeks, so I had the wallet sitting, and then that was a whole thing, because then I lost them. I hid them <laughs> so that nobody would take them, and then I forgot where I hid them, and I ended up giving them to the accountant. Why I did that? So we're all running around <laughs> looking for it, and he's like, oh, is that the box you gave me like three weeks ago? And I was like, yes, that's the box. <laughs> so when we opened ours, G was already three weeks ahead of us. She had already had it in her mind. She had already ordered everything she needed. She's like, I need the templates, Valerie. So yeah. thank goodness she was way ahead because... I literally started on it right away. I'm like, okay, yeah. I've got to do this. But then I always have to make it easier, faster, better. And so um, I'm like, Valerie, come on. <laughs> I, like, I, I, I can't take uh, cutting around this paper any longer. I just can't do it. And it took some time because it was a little bit complicated. So I couldn't just whip the templates out. It took her... A, it, usually it's it's pretty quick but these are so complex it took yeah it took, a, it took a little bit it took a little bit but look they're here they're wonderful and um there are more pieces to the pattern to the template set these are my chosen four um uh, templates that i use uh 
this. This is one of her favorites. Um, and also, not only do we have the four templates for the cutting, but um, we designed that. some tracing templates, and we'll get more into the specifics of these later. But um, we have made to where no measuring has to happen. These are tracing templates. You'll just put them where, where it's appropriate and uh, you'll just uh, not have to measure anything. So we took all I mean, the guesswork. this is how precise she is. I mean, we did these templates three times because she added the hash marks. Well, then we needed it yeah. on four sides. So yeah. it took a lot of back and forth on these. She worked really, yeah. really hard on I'm these. really proud of this, this set and I think um, I had someone compliment me, um, well, Linda Olson, who's made 200 of these. She said she cannot believe how, how efficient and how, how much time and effort went into these to make it so much easier and better. And yeah. she... I, I've watched a ton of videos from the experts on NCW that have been doing them for years. Yes. And I still see them struggle with the kinds of things that these templates are going to take care of easily. Yes. Okay. It's, I will just tell you this. This little piece right here. Yeah. Um, don't pay attention to the markings. It doesn't need to, to you don't need to know that. But this, this uh, piece right here um, will change your life in knowing where to pinch the sides up um, because you think you can just eyeball that well guess what you really can't i mean you can but things aren't going to fit the same throughout each wallet uh, this actually will hold a phone inside here um, so if you don't pinch it right you're gonna take up space where that phone would have been able to fit in there or whatever you wanna fit in there, but just saying. Uh, you wanna see the inside zipper also has, uh, you, you can design so many cool things, like when you open the zipper, you could have like a face staring at you or whatever, you can really just start customize, customizing this as, as much as you want, or you can um, not customize it at all and get her done. Yeah, but one of the things I really like is even just customizing from left-handed or right-handed, where you yes. want that zipper. Yeah, I told um, Linda, I said, make sure you um, know which way, since you're a lefty, which way you want your zipper to be zipping, uh, and we'll, we'll, we'll go over that, but uh, you want to pay attention to how things are oriented uh, when you're a left-hander. And you know, when we talk about picking out your fabrics, we have given you fabrics, you think, oh, the guesswork is out of it, I don't have to worry about it. Yeah, that's not true. Okay, so here are the five, we, we gave you five fat quarters uh, in your kit, and these, you, these are the two wallets made literally from those two fat quarters. Um, as you see, uh, the inside oval, actually on both of these, the inside oval, I did the green, because that was, you want to put your least favorite or um, you want to save your fav fabrics that you want to see for the exterior oval or the, the flat pieces or whatever. So you can mix and match and um, get two wallets out of those five, five fat quarters and literally have a little bit of extra uh, so I would fabric. even pick that fabric out and write like on a sticky note, you know, flat, Yeah, if you wanted oval. to do it like this, you would say, okay, this is my exterior flap. This is my interior flap. This is my exterior oval. This is my interior oval. This fabric here. So um, that gives you an idea of where these pieces actually go in the wallet. This is your zipper pieces and so the z zipper pocket pieces end up being your divider piece as well so and show your your little tabs that you've added and talk about those because so, that's not been anywhere yeah this this little tab here i'm calling it my flap tab that allows you to grab it and open it uh which i think is genius because mm -hmm. i felt the need to have that because i just feel like i didn't want to just keep um you know, grabbing a hold of the flap itself. So I, I did a flap tab and it makes it easier to open. So. And then for your strap, your crossbody. 
Um, yes, so, okay, the crossbody, uh, we put this in here, like I think, I'm pretty sure the pattern shows you to put the tabs in here to hook a wristlet to or whatever. Well, I planned on doing crossbody, so um, I didn't want to just put one here and one here because when you open your wallet, it mm -hmm. flops open. So I put my tab here. And then on the opposite side, I put a tab here. So when you're walking and you've got that strap to you and you open it, it's not, your stuff isn't going to fall over. Amy says it's not a flappy flap. <laughs> a little flappy flap. <laughs> <laughs> so um, also these, I want to talk about this for a second. These are Chicago screws. They look a little bit different from rivets. Um, so if you do not have a rivet machine or if you don't want to... Um, use rivets for whatever reason. Um, Ch Chicago screws are done by hand and they look like a screw on the one side and it kind of looks like a rivet on the other side and those you can do manually manually with a screwdriver. And um, I will show that in this process but I will be using my rivet press. Uh, if you're gonna make any multiples of these, I uh, would really highly recommend you get a, a snap press. Yeah, Lisa and I were talking about once you make a couple of these, if you're doing this as a gift or more likely as something you're going to sell, yeah. by the time you sell a couple of those, you've paid for the templates. Yes. You've paid for yes. the kit. You've paid for your tools. Well, if you're doing college ball you know, and stuff like that with the yes. fabric you're selling. All the yeah. teams. You, you, know what? you guys 40, wouldn't 40, believe how many females mm -hmm. are into football and basketball and baseball. All the team stuff. Go Red Sox. They're playing uh, tonight. <laughs> See? Um, I, I found that out doing nails. You know, I, I never dreamt that I was going to be doing NASCAR nails and football nails. And, and it really is uh, something that's very marketable. So... Literally, once you make a couple of these, when people see them, they want to buy them already. I had an airline stewardess on the way here said, oh my gosh, that's really nice. Where'd you get that? And I'm like, uh, so I went on to explain to her what I was doing coming to we Pensacola. We were talking about that. We were in Disney last week. I was talking about this, this lady in town makes mini Mickey ears. And you know, when you go to Disney, Stephanie has to have her Mickey ears. And literally, she had the, you know, the bag that you said nobody could have. Um, I don't know what that's called, but anyways, Nightmare Before Elm Street. The, the, the Jack Skellington. <laughs> yeah, it is, <laughs> isn't it Jack they Skellington? They were wanting to buy it off of her head. I'm like, sell them. Stephanie's like, I'm not, I was like, they offered you money for it? I would have sold them and had to make it up. She goes, no, I want to wear them. I was like, you're nuts, kid. <laughs> yeah, so, um, yeah, uh, I wanted to mention from the NCW group, uh, you're not allowed to discuss prices, but I will tell you that uh, if you look up the NCW on, um, eBay. what is that? No, the Etsy. If you look it up on Etsy, people are selling these anywhere from 40 to 60, some even more mm -hmm. if they have specialty, really specialty fabrics. Yeah. But so, I mean, literally you, you sell a couple wallets and you've got all your goods. Especially all, all if your, you are big into sports like college. I think. Yeah. I, I'm a professional sports. Um, I gave it up last year, but I'm watching it as long as they're all behaving this year. I'm watching it this year, and I'm telling you, a lot of quilters are, are college. I'm more pro, but a lot of quilters are college. If you went to a game and you had four or five of them and you wore them over your shoulder, I bet people would buy them off of you just right or, there on the spot like that. Or dogs, or John Deere tractors, or it's drinking, theme. or it's theme anything. stuff. Yeah. Uh, My law enforcement one that Linda also, also made me, I absolutely love it. And you can't find things for law enforcement, especially with females, you don't find that kind of stuff. It just yeah, doesn't. That, it's so special. I mean, I'm not into the pink handcuffs, I'm just gonna say that. <laughs> I think when you see police officers with pink handcuffs, no. it just makes it's, me go, oh my uh, gosh, yeah. come on. Like, nobody cares. <laughs> yeah. But um, you just don't see much in, for women in law enforcement. So to me, that was pretty cool. Yes. All the shirts are geared towards guys. All the, everything is just geared towards the guy, not really the, um, the female officer. The female officer, yeah. so. Yeah, so these are, that's why I say these are so addicting because um, I was teaching my friend Tater, hey Tater if you're watching, um, I was teaching her these wallets, kind of practicing my techniques, telling telling other people how to do it, and um, 
she texted me uh, on my trip and when I landed in, where was I? Kansas City, Missouri. When I landed there, she says, I literally have 24 combinations ready to go for when you get back. Because she's, she's afraid to do it without me. Um, so she's got 24 wallet, uh, I'm, she's so OCD, so I'm sure she's got piles and piles. What is it with the people up there? Dar is too. Yes. Oh, oh yes. So she's got piles and piles of, okay, this one is for Stephanie. This one is for, you know, so she's got 24 Christmas gifts that she's got planned out for her family. They're going to, they're going to absolutely, <laughs> love, they're going to absolutely love it too. So, and I hope you will too. I, I know that there's just so much fun because when you see a fabric now, you think, ooh, that would be a pretty flap, which um, I'm making me a new one too with some stuff we found in here. <laughs> so I will show that. I'm going to do it today and I'll show it to you guys tomorrow. Well, we're going to wrap up. I want to, um, first of all, I want to see if there's any last minute questions because I'm going to take about 10 minutes at the end. I didn't even really give Gia a heads up on this. But um, she does that stuff all the time. <laughs> I'm really good at that. But if anybody has any questions, please start asking them now while we're doing this next segment. And then we will answer questions at the end. And then I'll give Lynn an opportunity real quick. If there's been any questions that we need to address right now before we get started into the last segment. And then if you have questions of things you might be thinking about, go ahead and start when we do this last segment. Think about them and post them. So go ahead, Linda. I was going to say, we, we've got several to-dos, though, that they need to do. They need to iron their fabrics. Yes, they, yes. want to go through that? The, yeah. The couple Let things me we have. just get, Linda so graciously printed up some things for me to talk about here. So I will let you guys know that, know, now that you know where the pieces go, kind of have it in your mind where you want, what you want for which area of the wallet. Do you want it on the exterior? Do you want it in the interior? That type of thing. So you want to iron your fabrics. You want to choose, um, if you didn't get the kit, you want to choose uh, some fabrics that you are going to have in certain places. In other words, choose your fabric placement areas. Um, Linda, what else am I missing here? Okay, so what you want to think about is your fabrics. The outside exterior um oval that big one this is the exterior see, oval yeah. here you need to choose the fabric that you really like that you want to see right so every time you look at those fabrics if you bought the kit you want to think which of these fabrics do i like the best which which of these fabrics do i like the least, least. yeah which other fabric do i really really like you know you've got the inside flap right you've got the, the um, outside flap so I'll post a chart that'll give you a little bit of, you know, see that pop of the purple there. I love the pop of the purple, um, the dots that are up there. Oh, yeah. You know, if, if that's your interior flap. Flap, yes. So make sure you think about your fabrics. Don't choose a directional fabric. Don't choose a stripe. Yeah. I love the kit with the Santa, I mean, with the um, elves or the gnomes. The gnomes. But the buffalo plaid, if you do something like that, it's not printed consistently. Yeah, just so, know that it's not gonna always be straight. You yeah. know, like um, this one actually turned out pretty daggone good. Yeah. But well, sometimes Greg pointed out it wasn't Greg exactly out, perfect on the template. And you know what? <laughs> it doesn't You can't matter. even see that you part because tell. this is where it kind of got a little wonky in the print. But it's it it's matter. literally inside there, and you don't see it. Yeah. So, so, you know, don't so choose there, stripes, Greg. don't choose directional fabrics, don't choose a Not big... for your first one, exactly. you know, um, which, like I said, it's so great that we give you the kit included stuff for two wallets. So you can learn on your first one and be more particular on your second one and, and your 20th and 30th and 200th one. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, and um, give me a little bit of time after this, and I'll post those charts. As I said, I'm, I've written some stuff up. I want to go over with G to make sure this I have is, everything. Yeah, but it's I've, awesome, you guys. I really wasn't going to write, ooh -hoo, I wasn't really going to write any instructions because um, the video it becomes, the video will, will, yes, and you can hit record, uh, re, uh, rewind at any time. So, um, and the, the video's, will be available uh, long after the, the class is done. So. Okay, was there anything else, Linda? Uh, just look at the post that I have for tonight. Don't, somebody asked about, where was it? Um, um, popping open, I can't find where that post was. Do I need to pop open something? 
Um, I'll go back and post. So just read through the post, but don't do any further than yes, choosing please. your fabrics. Don't cut. Just press your fabrics and choose your fabrics. Yes, and don't interface anything yet. Don't cut your interfacing yet. I want to show you the quick, easy, awesome way to... You got a two and three quarters uh, piece of 101, which uh, most of the wallet is done with 101. You got a two and three quarters piece of that. Um, I'm going to show you how to fold and cut it to where you have very little waste, because I don't like waste, and keep all your scraps as well. Yes. But um, so I want I want I want to do that with you guys in the class. But I just wanted to preface some of the the parts and pieces so you know what goes where. Let's see. I'm trying to find the one question. Should we pop open the snap placement marks on the templates? I don't know what that is. Pop open the snap placements. Um, no, uh, no. I, I know they're they're talking about the the holes that can be drilled okay. out of yeah. there. Um, no, they're not. For what we are doing, it's not necessary. Those um, were the templates were made according to the pattern, um, and so there's things that I'm doing different. So if you're going to be following along with me, you won't need to do that. It's amazing how much instruction she is going to give you in this amount of time. We're yeah, and some thinking, of the templates I just made from the pattern because I, it's, we're going off their pattern. We're using her patterns. Yeah. But there were a lot of steps with because ours doesn't slide and because ours was quicker. There was something she's not even using in those templates, a couple things. Yeah. But if you do follow the pattern, we wanted to also be Have mindful the of the pattern maker because she is, I mean, everybody makes things here. I mean, David will invent something. And somebody will say, well, you know, you could do this and we make a change. Or I'll, I'll make something. And somebody will say, hey, I need to make a change on this. So in due time, a process. So this wallet is three, four years old. There's a lot of people online who've changed a few things. But yeah. yet we want to stay true to her because we want to keep in focus and give her that honor of, hey, she created this. This was her design. Absolutely. And I'm sure she's very, because G talked to her, she's very grateful that people are making changes or doing it with different templates well, and said she'd promote us. Yes. Um, she was very, very interested in, in what we were going to come up with for the templates. And um, I'm pretty sure that she's going to offer them on her website as well. Uh, we'll get back to you on that. We'll make an announcement in the Creating with Martelli page right here where you're watching. Um, please do share with all your friends and go to that this is that Facebook free. that Facebook group go to that Facebook group and if you guys will tag uh, or go into Linda Olson's post and say hey it's great watch it we want as many people as we can to watch that um, and it is free so even if they haven't bought the template right. yet they'll be able to decide whether they want whether it's worth it or not right I guarantee you you'll think it's worth it oh yeah yeah so all right, so I want to move on real quick. Now, for those of you tonight who may want to go back and watch G to kind of, you know, sometimes you're nervous taking a class. You don't know what kind of teacher she is, if she's high pace or what she is. She's, she did our actual retreat for us as well, so a lot of you. And if you are new, please let us know you're new and maybe send some hearts out if you're new and uh, Linda will acknowledge you. If you're new and you haven't seen G before, her and her sister are phenomenal, and they are uh, womb mate creations, of course, because they're twins. So that's how they came up with the name. Yeah, we were in the womb together, womb mate, not roommate. <laughs> and um, Linda will post that uh, link for you uh, to go on our YouTube and see all of our past projects. We do have a playlist on there from previous retreats. And um, these are some of the things that she made in the retreat. So I wanted her to show this was her a little bag. smashed because of where yeah. they were stored. But this is a chalupa bag that I created. And uh, we we learned to do this in the uh, last. Was it the last retreat? Yeah, And the retreaters were good enough to let her put it on her YouTube channel. I didn't feel like it was a retreat that, you know, people would pay for. I didn't feel like it was like my place. I to asked this, because um, I, I wanted to. For the other people, I wanted to learn. other people to learn it, and so I asked for permission from the retreaters to put it on our YouTube, and which makes one place for them to be able to go and reference the videos too. So uh, they were gracious enough to say, "Absolutely, put it on your YouTube." So if you'll support our YouTube channel. Um, you can go and see past retreat projects and some other learn. stuff that's not retreat too. Yeah, 
Yeah, absolutely. Lots, lots of different um, videos. If you hit that playlist button, um, there'll be a retreat, and you could see some projects we've done on retreats. Uh, let's see. There you go. The hanger cover tutorial, and yeah. So there's there's a few uh, projects on there, and. Um, one, one thing I'm one? really proud of, yeah, can you get that well, out? This one, and I know I had so many people, we had pictures of this. You know, we never have enough storage space for our rulers, and G worked really, really hard on this Here one. It is. And we have these kits, so if Linda will put them online, you can buy the kits, and when you watch her videos, it's going to teach you how to make these. Um, so, so this, uh, oh, I'm opposite here. Okay, so these, um, these are the cam snaps that we use to... Uh, attach this stuff to there. Look, these are two different retreats. Aren't these fabulous? But anyway, this is a template pocket. So when you have some templates, you can stack a bunch of them in here. I made the side expandable, so you can literally stuff these plumb to the gills. And uh, there's a ruler pocket. These are ruler sleeve pockets that, um, these look great in your sweatshops and, and they you can hang them on the back of this is so you can hang them on the back of the doors like the shoe holders yeah so you can if you have a door or a closet you can put it on the back of your door or closet yeah and um this so, is our retreat fabric this is what she made the bag out of is this one i love this one it's so pretty i don't have any more left but i absolutely love that one and uh anyway you can make multiple ones to hold multiple things uh like this one is made of clear vinyl, see-through, so you can see your actual templates in there. But, um, see, stick all your rulers in here. And believe me when I tell you, these hold a lot of rulers in here. Both of these uh, are ruler slots. Um, and then inevitably you end up sticking a lot now of Now we only, again, we only have so many of these from the retreat um, left. So if you are interested, it's not, you can watch the video and probably do it with your own fabric. I mean, we do sell the vinyl by itself and we have plenty of the vinyl. Um, but um, as far as the actual kits that include the grommet, everything that you're going to need to make this, we do have some kits in um, available. I don't know how many we have, but okay. we do sell the vinyl by itself as well. Yeah. Um, and I teach you how to not have to really stress to measure things and just a whole different We've technique got 36 to 36 kits left of that. Oh, yeah, so okay, so 36 people can actually make this yeah, exact one, 20. right, with yep. the same fabric? Yep. Yeah, and 25 of the Chalupa bags. So I don't guys. have any with this fabric. This is completely, we're yeah, that's completely, that's That gone. sold yeah. out really quick. Yep. But, yep. um... So these are still available. I'd love for you to um, make yours and make your sweatshop so much prettier. And again, you'll have to go to her um, YouTube channel. YouTube we'll channel. Make Creations. Linda will yeah, link I you there. I posted the link several times to okay. your channel plus to several of the projects. Okay. And so, so kind of go there tonight. Watch a couple of her videos. You kind of get her style. You'll feel for how it's going to go that way. You're not nervous about... How does it work? And just have fun and watch. And I see really a bit like of it. to encourage. I mean, we, it's real life sewing. Things happen. When you mess up, it can be fixed. And in our videos, when I do mess up, guess what? We don't edit it out. We show you how to fix it because at home, when you get stuck and you do something stupid like I do sometimes, it can be fixed. It, it, there's Seam Ripper can probably fix just about almost every problem so <laughs> so I did want to show those I didn't tell her about this but I just uh, I know their channel she's got so many I mean she is oh my gosh if I could even begin to tell you her free motion quilting is just absolutely oh yeah we did a series oh on the Martelli gosh. Enterprises um, it's also on our um, YouTube channel of uh, I think it's 11 videos of different free motion quilting techniques, motifs. And I saw somebody on there the other day that said, hey, look, this is my first shot. What do you think? And I could see the... Go back and watch some of those. You don't know. And a lot of the people who took the retreat, I mean, from where they started... To now. This it's frolic. So, it's so exciting. Unbelievable. I mean, so... Go definitely watch some of those. And, and we're always like, available for questions. Uh, Linda and Lisa and myself... Sherry, you know, we are pretty active on the groups, and when you... Uh, and the email, your email our is... Our email is twins at martellinotions.com. So if you have any questions regarding what she's doing or things that they have, may have made, you can just reach her at twins, twins at, at martellinotions.com. <laughs> hey.
Jing, show me a Coke. <laughs> I'm taking Sharon's spot today. <laughs> All right, so do we have any, we'll sit down real quick. Do we have any questions? I want to make sure if anybody, oh, let me show you these real quick. You do get, especially with the Chalupa bag. Again, if you want to make them for Christmas presents, it comes with a template. So with the Chalupa bag, you're going to get the templates. This is what it looked like. It was a kit. You're going to get that fabric. Template and some rulers too. Yep. And this one right here is your vinyl. Everything is in the kit. And I know the fabric is behind. Um, that's the organizer. But that's this is the organizer. Yeah, that's what the, you're going to get. Ultimate the, hanging organizer uh, is what the name of the video is. And you're going to get the is. fabric in there. You're going to get the vinyl. So everything that you need to make this and the grommets and is going to come with it. it a lot. Yes, I mean, it does. Tell it's you, amazing. I have... Well, I felt what bad we because... I think we have one, two, three. We have four hanging in our sweatshop, plum full of stuff. I felt bad because it was part of the retreat, but so many people were seeing pictures. And they're like, where did you get that? What did you do? And I couldn't really, because it wasn't fair to the retreaters, I felt. I was just like... She said, no, G. And I said, let me go on there and ask them, can I please put this on my YouTube so more people can... And they're like, oh my gosh, gee, yes, just do it. Because I thought I should wait for a certain amount of time. And they're like, no, just do it. So, she did a great job, quick, easy. But um, So I'm really glad that some of you guys are going to um, get that. Also, too, you get twins at martellinotions.com if you're going to have any questions with this class or anything. Also, learn at martellinotions.com if you have any questions or any information that you need as well. Um, that's Linda and Lisa. And I just wanted to wrap this up. One, I wanted to say thank you to Jay because I just absolutely love her. We became friends right off. I mean, she criticized me thinking that, well, if you can't take my... I was like, girl, you just... I, <laughs> the more you criticize, the better we become. And to me, that's what it's about. You want I a better. I had constructive criticism. and um, It was, very. And I, I mean, it changed. It was the, um, one of the templates, it was Burke's Beauty. But what, it mattered what she said. It mattered. It made it easier, faster, quicker. And I love, when somebody can correct me, because I don't know what I'm talking about, one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and it's funny because you'll talk to four or five, do it this way, do it this way, this way, you know. Well, everybody's really great at saying what you should do, but, but nobody backs it up like she does. Nobody gets you there. To, you have to. She does it and shows you why. why? This is why. I'm sure. Because yeah. at first I said, no, this is right. I'm pretty sure. I mean, I didn't really know her at the time. And they were telling me, no, it's right. And I was saying, she is saying it's not right. And they're like, no, it is. And she said, let me show you what's wrong. And sure enough, I listened to her, tuck it back. They're like, no, she's right. So it, she takes it that step. She's actually doing it. She's not just saying, I quilt and I know what I'm talking about. She yeah. backs it up by doing it, even if there's a mistake made or anything, and she fixes those mistakes. And so I just, for the last couple of years, I don't think I, three years, I don't think I could have done it without her. There's just no way. And her sister, Sherry, and now Shao, we can't live without Shao. We miss her. Sorry, yeah. she couldn't come. Um, she had COVID and took a, you know, took a hard six months. And so last time she came down here i think her body just wasn't really ready so she we didn't want to do it again she's not ready for traveling but she is probably on there right now i don't know if linda if she if you are we love you shall we miss you i know why you didn't come but boy do we miss you i miss you wouldn't even have to be refereeing <laughs> like you could have enjoyed it there right would be no refereeing you wouldn't have to be on your job um <laughs> i talked to her uh both both of them uh are so proud of me for traveling by myself because i used to travel when i was in the nail business um, all the shows and stuff alone, and and it was fine. But um, yeah, we're I'm sisters. Really... We're sisters from another mister because we do. <laughs> I do the trade show circuit too. Used to do it a lot. Now it's like I don't go eat if I'm by myself. I thought that was a me thing. Everybody's like, you're so stupid. She's like, I don't eat anywhere if I'm by myself. I was like, man, we are so much. I mean, yeah. Who wants to go? Then everybody's looking at you. Go. Do you not have a husband? Are you a loser? <laughs> are you just you yeah? Know? <laughs> I, I said I would rather, and I'm a big girl, I like to eat, but I said I would rather not eat than to go in a restaurant and eat by myself. So, um, yeah, last night I ended up going through, I was going to go through a drive through but because I'm driving a vehicle that don't belong to me and is way bigger than mine, I was like, mm, maybe not try to go through that drive through I'll, I'll park and go in. But I got my food to go, so I didn't, I wasn't the loser sitting there by myself <laughs> having dinner. All right, so are there any questions at all, Linda? No, we had some people that were a bit nervous, but everybody on the site has been saying, don't worry, G's going to walk you through. The instruction is going to be great. We For had you that didn't see her in the retreat, Lisa and Linda, too, when you're not part of those retreats, now you're going to get a taste of what they did. It's like having a friend in your house without everybody eyes on you and you're able to make your mistakes and go back at night and watch that. So by the time you come back to do the class tomorrow, you've fixed it and you can move forward. 
I mean, we had a lot of people say that the uh, virtual retreat was actually a little bit better than the than in person. person. Yeah, they got a little bit more attention, mm -hmm. uh, personal attention. Yeah, it was awesome. So if you have any questions uh, during the process, uh, Linda will be mo moderating, and um, because she will have finished her wallet today, she will be able to <laughs> okay. uh, answer. No, I, I won't be finishing my wallet today because I want to finish the directions. Oh, okay. We're, we've had lots of questions about directions and I have been responding. We're not writing directions because the NCW wallet from Emma Line has directions. We want you to buy the pattern. Right. But you've made so many modifications, G. Right. That I really felt like it would be helpful to you know write what? up some my, pages my friend of your Tater stuff. called it the golden sheet, and that is what Linda is actually making prettier than my handwritten golden sheet. She's, it, it's going to be a quick reference guide, um, and really, there's no reason to write really instructions just it's going to be a clear concise thing on how many ovals do you cut and what do you interface it with how many flaps do you cut and what do you interface yeah. it with that type of thing so linda has really yeah. that's already done that you've got printed out but oh, there okay. are other yeah i've i've got so. three things that i've already done one is what you need to do now and that's you know for, um choosing your fabrics the five fabrics and making a decision we need you guys tonight or before tomorrow morning to figure out this is the fabric for the outside um yeah oval. what's this it, is what's the fabric for, your exterior? for the inside what's for your interior what what fabric do you love the most yeah. that's what you know yeah and i'll post wanna... a little guide on you know what's helpful there again your favorite fabric choose for this your yeah. second favorite fabric choose for that the fabric you like the least choose for this part yeah that kind of thing so that's one document then there's the golden sheet that you've talked about yeah how she, many she made the golden sheet pretty but so I'll uh, be posting that. So she'll be posting that. Um, you won't have to try to read it from this screen. And then but the labels that she put on her um, templates. Oh yes. I'll be print. I'll be that posting that. That was so that nice too. of you, Linda, because everyone was taking pictures of my templates yeah. so they could know what I labeled as as what. And Linda has actually printed. You know, so you can cut these out and make your own labels. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, Beautiful. Perfect. So I'm going to post snapshots of that. I just want to do a few more diagrams so that you can look at a wallet that's done. And I'm going to say purple polka dots is this. Green fabric is that. Because when you look at that oval, you know, you think the left side is the flap and the right side is the inside flap. No. no. The left yeah. side is the side of the wallet where the folds are. And the right side is the side, the other side of the wallet with the folds. Yeah. So it's a little confusing. So I, I just want to give you some diagrams. Tomorrow, it's really oh, gonna, it's gonna when she starts, start. you're gonna. I mean, get look it. at that beautiful template set, you guys. I'm yeah. so proud of that. It, it is so nice. Um, you'll notice there's some some templates in there that we did not discuss, and those are for different uh, styles. styles that are in the in the original pattern. Um, so. Uh, if you want to follow the pattern and do the variations that she suggests, there's templates for that too. So the template set will cover you for however you choose to do your wallets. So, All right, well, yeah. I'm going to let G get to work because she's got a lot she's got to do before tomorrow. We look forward to seeing you. I probably won't be here for the next couple of days because we have Houston coming up, so I'll be pretty busy. But you're in good hands with G, Linda, and Lisa, and we will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.